Hey everyone, how's it going? Delrith here, bringing you another rapid fire review, this time for the game Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic was developed by Ghost Ship Games and published by Coffee Stain Studios. Before I get started, however, I'd like to take the opportunity to ask that if you enjoy the rapid fire reviews or want to be involved in their creation process, that you take a moment to head over to my Twitter at AJSA Delrith and give me a follow. It's your best place to go to find out when I'm live and what I'm working on and or well, what I'm working on and to get involved or to see the process as it happens. For anyone who doesn't know what DRG is, it's a space-based dwarven shooting and mining game, entirely based around you being one of four classes of dwarves, uh, involving you working for a corporate company that just fires you into various different extremely dangerous locations through a drop pod, and, you know, having them task you with completing a specific objective, and then madly dashing back to the extraction as to not be horribly murdered by waves of bugs. It's a game that's extremely high octane at certain points, a lot like Left 4 Dead in a lot of ways, and it's one that's undoubtedly built around you playing through a multiplayer experience, although there is an option to go solo if you absolutely want to. There's no need for any more summary than that, you're space dwarves doing hardcore badass mining that the humans and elves are too wimpy to do, so that speaks for itself. Visually, I gotta say that I absolutely adore what DRG looks like. It's definitely got a unique appearance, one that's entirely stylized to just it, with a lot of vibrant colors, jagged edges, and triangles, with a space-themed fantasy look to everything dwarven. It looks, feels, and sounds like what I would expect a dwarven mining situation in space would be, and they just nail it the entire way through. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have any of that flashy RTX stuff or anything that's too entirely mind-blowing, but it looks great for what they were going for, and honestly, I was entirely pleased with how everything looked. There's a number of different biomes in the game, each with their unique designs, with all of them fitting a different theme. You've got your overgrown biome, your hot biome, your cold biome, so on and so forth, with different environmental hazards and effects thrown about within them. When you're in the cold biome, you'll get blizzards that slow you and mess with your screen. Sandstorms doing the same sort of thing, but they're obviously sand. It's all pleasing to look at and I enjoyed exploring. Plus, you have the added option of being able to destroy and dig up pretty much anything in the entire level. Where's the drop pod? I need a damn minecart on this. Where is it? The visuals for the different ores, objectives, dig locations, all of that, they're all good and stylized, and it was never hard for me to grasp where to slam my pickaxe to be able to get what I needed. Enemy design is rad, with a bunch of different angry bugs that come out and want to murder you at various points, with the variants looking unique, and different ones having weak points and such that glow, and some even exploding like tactical nukes. It just all looks really cool. I have to really emphasize how awesome some of the destruction is. You can enter a room and fight a wave of bugs only to have that room be completely annihilated and everything be craters. It's just a sight to behold. Gold, holy shit! Whoops. The voice lines and banter between the characters are all decent. The taunts, cheers, whatever, all good. And the sheer staggering amount of customization you can unlock and earn is unreal. There's just so much stuff. And I only gleam the surface of it. There, there's no doubt in my mind that you can end up looking unique and it, it just, you know, compared to everyone, and it just all perfectly fits that dwarven image. There's microtransactions for looks, but th that's it. None of them affect the gameplay. And given the sheer amount of cosmetics that you can earn through normal progression, I, I wasn't bothered by that in the slightest. The guns, gear, equipment, all of that is awesome too, coupled with an amazing interface for upgrading it. And honestly, there's not much to say outside of that. The game just looks, you know, fantastic. To start off playing Deep Rock Galactic, you pick between four classes that you're going to focus on. The current classes in the game are Engineer, Scout, Gunner, and Driller, each with their names being perfect representations of what they do. The Engineer builds turrets as his specialty, you know, as an Engineer would do. Uh, the Scout can grapple about and go ahead and go places where nobody else can. The Gunner has a huge freaking gun, and the Driller can dig anywhere and blow giant holes in the rock. 
These classes all feel good, with each one having a respective upgrade system for their equipment, which is earned through getting XP. You'll also need ore that you mine and special materials awarded for completing missions and assignments, which are multiple mission sets in a row with a bonus on finish. Missions also have a variety of different mutators, challenges, and insane modifiers you can roll on them, so there's really no lack of variety in that regard. Once you get materials, you can choose to upgrade specific paths on a gun with multiple options in each row, really allowing you to build and customize how you wish, enabling multiple playstyles for each class rather than forcing a linear experience. There's even a pretty in-depth perk system that lets you choose a bunch of different things of various benefits, like faster team revives, faster ammo replenish, etc., and it just adds more customization to the game. Upon hitting max rank with a class, which is 25, you'll be offered an assignment to complete a bunch of levels, resulting in you going into the promotion process and getting a sweet star next to your name to celebrate your success. I'm ready. I deserve this. Recognition of your hard work, Deep Rock Galactic, and made you eligible for promotion. Getting your character promoted resets at the level one. You keep up progress on weapons, upgrades, perks. You'll also at this point be given access to the Deep Dive missions, which are Deep Rock's in-game system, and access to the Forge, allowing you to craft overclocks for weapons, which really change how they play and open up your build potential even more. Deep Dives are pretty sweet. They're one-off weeklies that award things from cosmetics to overclocks, as well as blank cards that let you unlock more overclocks during random events in missions you're in. There's two difficulties for these deep dives, normals and elites, uh, with the elite version being mind-blowingly hard if you're not a veteran working with other veterans, and I appreciated getting my ass kicked over and over again just attempting to do the harder version. Overclocks themselves are extremely cool, with myself only managing to get about half a dozen or so, uh, with each one doing something drastic to a weapon and entirely changing how it works. A good example of this would be the sticky napalm upgrade for the driller, which massively extends the duration of the fire on the ground and really makes for an interesting build if you select his debuff talents. Uh, one more would be the overclock upgrade for the grenade launcher, the nuke, uh, on the engineer, which pretty much just turns it into a massive weapon of, of destruction uh, that all men and bugs should fear. There's just so many, and from the ones I did manage to get, a lot of them were a lot of fun. Combat in general flows well in Deep Rock, with moments of madness really requiring you to swap between your weapons and utilize everything you've got to your biggest advantage. As the random events tossed around and the number of things you can find as bonuses in each mission are always there to give you things to kill. Personally, I love the dynamic between the classes, each one having an entirely different style in combat, and there's really not a bad class in the slightest. Upon finishing the mission, there's also just this mad dash to get the fuck out of there, and it's entirely tense. You basically have to retrace your steps in a lot of cases, and the deeper you go, the harder it is to find your way out. This is especially true given the fact that each and every level outside of deep dives is procedurally generated. You won't see the same thing twice, and the layouts can be absolutely impossible to remember. Oh, they are really up there, aren't they? You know what? As far as multiplayer stability, it's flawless. The servers all run perfectly and the lag doesn't seem to matter at all. I had a buddy from Israel, Biscuits, playing with me for the majority of my time and it wasn't a problem for him. Everything happened in real time on his screen and it seems the developers have definitely hired a decent netcoder to sort all that stuff out. The community, too, is, is super supportive and honestly one of the best ones I've seen in a very long while. With all of the promoted players and the veterans of the game helping out all the green beards, as they call them, at launch, really carrying more weight than they should be expected to, and just generally helping everyone learn the game to the best of their ability. So, honestly, props to everyone that plays and, and, and qualifies as, as one of these veterans. Thank you for being so kind and generous in that regard. To further promote the community, there's really a neat union system in the game, allowing you to choose between three specific factions, as you'd call them, each one having a certain play style and, and having their own small competition milestones being held to support them. 
One, for example, would be focused around mining and getting a lot of rare resources, while the aggressive union would be tasked with killing an outrageous number of specific enemies. It really is a ton of fun, and I could suggest that anyone who plays the game join up with one based on your playstyle. As far as future updates for Deep Rock Galactic goes, there's a pretty solid roadmap available online for you to look up, and it definitely looks like the developers plan on supporting this for years to come, with a ton of new content planned out and a lot more in-game systems coming to DRG. Uh, personally, I'm glad I got to hop into this game on launch and give it a proper fair shake. I had a lot of fun with it, and I was entirely thrilled to play with the community and, and everyone in chat who had it. It was a blast, even if I did get a lot of you killed in the process. So for the final score, I'm more than happy to give Deep Rock Galactic a solid 9 out of 10. It's almost impossible to find anything to complain about with the game. It's just a great overall uh, experience, and I enjoyed every moment of it. If there's anything that I would like to see in the future, it would be more development of the classes as actual characters with personalities, backstories, dynamic conversations, etc. And maybe an overall campaign that really gets into the situation at hand and digs through the game's lore. Uh, that's really the only thing holding it back from a 10 out of 10. But I digress. It's fantastic as it is, and that would just be the icing on the cake needed to push it to that higher amount. Anyone who is a fan of the Left 4 Dead series, Vermintide series, or any other game of that like should totally check it out, and if you already own it and haven't played since the alpha, be sure to just boot it up and give it another whirl. Anyway, that's going to be it for this rapid fire. If you like to do me a solid and hit that like button and subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, ring the bell to get notifications on new videos in the future. Until the next video, this is Delrith, and I'll be seeing ya. Bye!